I'm Alex Mitchell for Personal View. I'm at the KL Australia booth with Peter, and today we're going to be discussing the Lightstorm Mini 20D. Thanks, Alex. Nice to be with you. This is the Lightstorm Mini 20 set. Basically, the set from Aperture includes two daylight units and a bicolour unit. These are lightweight units that can be powered from anything from a 5 volt through to 18 volt power. So that would include a Sony NP series battery or a V-Lock battery, whatever's in your kit. The units have a spot and flood mechanism on the back here where we can rack it all the way out to 80 degrees and bring it all the way back into 20 degrees. To control the actual power intensity, that's on the other side here. And now I can move the unit here to full power and now bring it all the way back. On the front of the unit, we've got these really handy barn doors that we can shape the light with and a filter accessory slot for 4x4 filters where you can get creative and use these as an accent light. And um, did, are these cooled um, by fans as well, or are they all passive? They've got a small cooling fan in here, Alex, but having said that, they're equivalent to about 120 watt tungsten light, so they don't generate too much heat at all, but there is one there just in case. Mm. I, I think I, I, I've seen the, um, the brochures about this, and I think they, they place the fan on the bottom, and it's really smart, right? Because the, the heat, travels, heat travels upwards, right? That's correct. Just drawing airflow through the unit is far more efficient. So it's, just, it's amazing how they've thought about all those little things, not just putting a fan, but where to put it to get maximum cooling and minimum noise as well. Absolutely. That's typical Aperture, isn't it? You know, think about a product, redesign a product and perfect it and bring it to market. One, one thing I can see on the side I haven't noticed before, if we just turn it around, you can see that there's this little, as you turn it up, does that do what I think it does? Yes. It does, yes. Yes. Absolutely, yes. Yes, I was just guessing that. Yeah, and same with the spot. We can now see our intensity. It highlights here in blue. We're at 100%. And as we turn it back down here, Alex, all the way back down here to 20%. And exactly the same feature here, which is really handy, you can see the spot mechanism. Here we go. I'm at 50 degrees here. I'm turning it down all the way down here. Now I'm at 20 degrees. And now just a little thing, but, you know, a beautiful feature that we just put in the unit. And, and, and you've got these, the ability to slide in filter gels and any filters that you want to in the front? Yeah, 4x4 four four filters, Alex, yeah. You know, blues, reds, greens, whatever you want to do. You know, absolutely fantastic. Wow, this is a really nice little unit. Yeah, and it comes packed in a really nice and handy carry bag. There's two kits available, one that actually includes three nano-style stands, and if you've got your own stands, you can just buy the, the kit, which is the three units and the charger, and the batteries and filter kits all packed neatly in an aperture carry bag. So the typical sort of three-point light setup. Absolutely, yes. And so with battery powered, how 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 does this work out with batteries? If I want a battery power. Oh, basically, Alex, we've got the the, the DC input here. So from here, we'll just go to a little DTAP connector. So straight into either a V-lock or into a little adapting plate, which you've got your Sony NP series on. Wow, so it's really versatile. It's something that can be used in the studio, out of the studio, anywhere you want. Yeah, really with an emphasis on location shooting, just due to its portability and low power draw. Wow. Well, thank you so much, Peter, for talking to me about the, um, uh, the Lightstorm um, Mini uh, 20D. Um, and, you know, thank you for joining us. I'm Alex Mitchell for Personal View. Uh, make sure you subscribe to the PV channel and press the bell icon to get notifications of all new videos.